obey God rather than you. And while I have life and strength, I shall never cease from the practice and teaching of philosophy. For I do nothing but go about persuading you all, old and young alike, not to take thought for your persons or your properties, but first and chiefly to take care of the greatest improvement of the soul. This is my teaching. And if this is the doctrine which corrupts the youth, then I am a mischievous person. Wherefore, O men of Athens, I say to you, therefore, acquit me or not, but whichever you do, I shall never alter my ways, never adjust my approach to this maze, never reform till the end of my days, even if, if I have to die many times. God is apprehended by imagination, intuition, reason, touch, presence, and name, and so on. But about the other, and we promise that we begin to understand some of the sermons that are shame to go on. But he is all things in all. And he is nothing in any. He is often found in one thing small. Conversely, he is not the least in many. And despite the abolition by the current inquisition of any intuition that they don't choose, when it comes to God, God, I can't believe that He is a human being and a mind. He is not supposed to.
retribution. Then prove your repentance by the fruit it bears. Already the axe is laid at the roots of the trees. And every tree that fails to produce good fruit shall be cut down and thrown on the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance sake. But he who comes after me is mightier than I. I'm not fit to take off his shoes. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay. Do you come to me? Yeah. I want to get washed up. I need rather to be baptized by you. No, no. Let it be so for the present. We do well now to conform with all that God requires. When wilt thou save the people, O God of mercy, when? Not kings and lords, but nations, not thrones and crowns, but men. Flowers of thy heart, O God, are they? Let them not pass like weeds away. the law and the prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to complete. I tell you this so long as heaven and earth endure, not a letter and not a stroke will disappear from the law until all that must happen has happened. Therefore, whoever sets aside even the least of the law's demands, so will have the lowest place in the kingdom of heaven. But he who keeps the law and teaches others, so will have the highest place in the kingdom of heaven. Unless 
You prove yourselves far better men than the Pharisees and the doctors of the law. <coughs> you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. There once was a judge who cared nothing for God nor man. In the same town, there was a widow who constantly came before him demanding justice against her rival. For a long time, he refused, but in the end, he said to himself, True, I cared nothing for God nor man, but this widow is so great a nuisance. I'll have her right before she wears me out with her persistence. You hear what this unjust judge says. And will God not vindicate his chosen who cry out to him day and night while he sits listening patiently to them? Really, really Jesus? Jesus? Really? I tell you, he will vindicate them soon enough. Yes! But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Is that a rhetorical question? Oh, my God. Wow. Way to ruin my moment. There was nothing for that. We didn't even get to finish. Oh, Gather around, brothers and sisters, because two men, I said two men, hallelujah, hallelujah. went off to the temple to pray. One, a Pharisee, Boo. and the other, a tax gatherer. <laughs> the Pharisee, why, he just stood right on up and prayed this. I thank thee, O God, that I am not like other men, greedy, adulterous, dishonest, or for that matter, like the tax gatherer. I pray twice a week. Get that twice a week and pay taxes on all that I get. But the other kept his distance and could not even raise his eyes to the good Lord of heaven. I said, the good Lord of heaven, child. Amen, sister, yes. But beat upon his breast was saying, Oh God, have mercy on me, sinner that I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And it was this man, I tell you, and not the other. Oh, you got to be kidding who went off and quitted of his sins. For every man who exalts himself shall be humbled. But every man who humbles himself shall be exalted. I'm not that heavy. Shall be exalted. Hey. Now, you've learned that they were told, do not commit murder. Oh. Hey. Do not. <laughs> anyone who commits murder must be brought to judgment. But what I tell you is this. Anyone who nurses anger against his brother must be brought to judgment. So, he who abuses, his brother must answer for it in the court. But he who sneers at his brother must answer for it before the throne of God. Now, what if you're bringing a gift to the altar and... You suddenly remember your brother has a grievance against you. <laughs> no. 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 You leave your gift where it is, before the altar. Leave it. Okay. First, go and make a peace with your brother. Try again. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Now, go and offer your gift. Ding, 
there once was a king. Yeah, yeah. Who had decided to settle accounts with the man who served him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at the outset, there appeared before the master a man whose debt ran into the millions. What? I'm talking millions. Whoa. Well, since the man had no means of paying the money, the master ordered him to be sold to meet the debt with his wife. No. And his child. Whoa. And everything he had. Well, the man threw himself down at the master's feet and said, Oh, 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 be patient with me. He went. And I will pay you in full. And so filled with pity was the master, and he decided to free the man and remit him of his debt. All right. Let's give it up for the master. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? That's not the end of the story. Huh? No sooner had the man gone out than he met a fellow servant who owed him a few dollars. He gripped him by the throat and said, Pay me what you owe me. The man threw himself at his fellow servant's feet and begged him, saying, but he refused and had him jailed until he should pay the debt. No, 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 no. That's okay. Well, the other servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened. They ran and they told their master the whole story. Accordingly, he sent for the man. Whoa! You scoundrel. He said to him, I remitted the whole of your debt and you appealed to me. Oh, you're not bound to show your fellow servant the same pity I showed you. <sighs> and so angry was the master that he decided to condemn the man into a life of torture until he could pay his debt in full. And that is how my heavenly father will deal with you. <laughs> Unless you each forgive your brothers from your hearts. Master? Day by day. By day, oh dear Lord, three things I pray to see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly. 
but they were told an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But what I tell you is this, never set yourself against a man who wrongs you. So if someone slaps you on your right cheek, turn and offer him your left. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, You're gonna get in trouble. It's me. No, I'm just kidding. It's for you. It's Adele. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> now, if a man sues you for your shirt, Pink Pink Cherry! Cherry! What's your name? Uh, Rasan. Rasan, all right. Okay, you ever played Pictionary before? Uh, you have? All right, so you know how to play? All right, I'm gonna give them the question again, and then I'm gonna give you the answer, and then you're gonna draw it for them, and they're gonna try and guess it. All right, so, if a man sues you for your shirt. Stop cheating, Diana. I know, I know Say it. You always no, you don't. Wait, wait, I ain't hear nothing. I know. Yeah. You, you, do do no. you do great. That's why. A dog! <laughs> really? Like, he hasn't even drawn anything. Oh, it's a really stick bad man. stick man. Uh, my dad! What? Grandma! Um, Stop shouting out! It's, it's definitely Grandma. Just shouting out it's random it's stuff isn't going to give us an answer. It's not a t-shirt. Um, a jacket. It's a jacket. Oh, what is it called? What is it called? It's, um, what's it called? Oh, my God. Like Pick, that. Give them your coat as well. Yes, oh, you give them your coat as well. Nice job. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Dad. Now. Now, if a man in authority asks you to go one mile with him. Charades! Just great. So, you ever played charades before? Yeah. You have? All right, great. So, I'll ask them the question one more time, I'll give you the answer, and then I'll help you out if you need help. Okay, so, if a man in authority asks you to go one mile with him... I heard him. What about the guy from the line? I got the answer already. Okay. 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 Us, you, uh, me, you. You, 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 You go hard. You and I. Two uh, people. Two 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 and never turn your back okay, Jesus. on one who wants to borrow. Jesus. I see. What you do? Oh, what? Is that the bucket? It's the <laughs> orange one. Yeah. What? There's one. Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh, it's uh, shiny. It's Ooh, is this another game? I want to play. Oh, can I really play? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on. You know you want to kick me. Of course. I'm really good. I got it. A man on his way to Jericho was set upon by robbers. Oh, oh, oh. They beat him, oh. stripped him, and knocked him on the head. And when they left, they left him for dead. Oh. Now it just so happened, a priest came by. The poor broken man he spied. He said, Man, you're not an altar boy. And he passed on the other side. And he passed on the other side. So to a judge happened upon the man, but he barely broke his stride. He said, sorry, important case, Bill Cosby, again. <laughs> and he passed on the other side. 
and he passed on the other side. But then there happened upon the man a poor and lovely Samaritan. First he took pity, then he took time. He bathed the man's wounds in oil and wine. Gluck, 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 gluck. He bandaged his wounds and carried him to the nearest comfort <laughs> inn. And there he paid the man's room and board with two pieces of silver he couldn't afford. Then said to the innkeeper, Look after him, and if you spend any more, I'll repay you on my way back. Now, which of these three was a neighbor to the man? The priest, the church, or the Samaritan? The Samaritan! You win the prize. Now, all of you, go and do likewise. So always treat others as you would have them treat you. You've learned that they were told, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But what I tell you is this. Love your enemies and pray for your persecutors. You tell me. I do. For if you love only those who love you, what is there that's extraordinary in that? Even the heathen do as much. No, good goodness, there's no no bounds, just as your heavenly father's goodness knows no limits. But be careful not to make a show of your religion before men. For if you do, no reward awaits you in the kingdom of my father. Right, right. I know that. When you do some act of charity, don't announce it with a flourish of trumpets as the heathen do in the synagogues and the streets. I tell you, they do it just to win admiration from men. No, when you do some act of charity, Don't let your right hand know what your left hand oh. is doing. Your good deeds must be in secret. Okay. It's a secret. That's what the good master is telling us is when God tells a little secret on us, the angels write it down in a big book so that on judgment day they can decide who No. No. Your heavenly Father, who sees what is done in secret, he will what? Reward you! <laughs> <laughs> there once was a rich man who dressed in purple and the finest of linen. He also wore hats. You're fired. <laughs> and every day feasted in great magnificence. I like my steak done medium well, and if you can't do that, you're fired. At his gate lay a poor man. Named Lazarus. Lazarus! Lazarus come, come on down! Excuse me. Hope you don't have stage fright. Right this way. <laughs> Watch your step. Lazarus, who had been glad to have satisfied his hunger with the scraps from the rich man's table. Sit here. Even the doggy doggies used to come and lick his open running sores. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, one day Lazarus died. Die. <laughs> and was carried away. Get up. <laughs> to be with Abraham and the angels. Step up, you step up there, so hope you're not afraid of high <sighs> The rich man also died. <laughs> oh, yeah. Heavy. 
and was buried in Hades. What is this, a Bernie Sanders rally? <laughs> Where he was in torment. Feel the pain! Feel the pain! Feel the pain! Get a feel the <laughs> He looked up, and there, far away, was Abraham with Lazarus close beside him. Oh, Father Abraham, do me a favor. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water to cool my tongue, for I am in agony in this dump. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Trumples. See, if you remember, all good things fell to you while you were on earth, and all the bad to my wife, Lazarus. And I was she who was in constellation here, and you who was in constipation there. The word. Then send Lazarus to my father's house, the Trump Towers, the Trump Soho, the Trump Taj Mahal, where I have four brothers to warn them so they too may not come to this dump. Okay, hold on, you crazy comb over man. See, they got Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. But if someone from the dead should rise, then they would listen. Okay, look, even if somebody from the dead should rise, they're not going to listen to Moses and the prophets, so they won't listen to anyone else. Let me see your birth certificate. Oh, 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 of two masters. Either he'll love the first 
and hate the second. <laughs> or he'll be devoted to the second. Uh-uh. I don't want that. Uh-uh. And think nothing of the first. No man can serve God. What? And money. Oh, money. money. There once was a rich man. <coughs> there once was a rich man whose land yielded heavy crops. He cared not for the people who tended his crops though they worked long hours and were paid a fraction of the rich man's salary. Occupy Bell Beach! Occupy Bell Beach! Yet despite all his riches, he found it still wasn't enough. Oh, what am I to do? He said, I have not the money to store my produce. <laughs> ah, this is what I will do. He said, I will tear down my storehouses and build them bigger. I will store in them my corn and guacamole and taquitos and enchiladas. And then I will say to myself, man, you have plenty of good things laid by you, enough to last you many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, enjoy yourself. But then God said to the man, <clears throat> You fool. Fool, fool. This fool. very night you must surrender your life. Life, life, life. You've made your money. Money, money. You money. will get it now. Now, now. Oh, boy.
<laughs> Therefore, I bid you, put away thoughts of food and clothes to cover your body. Consider the lilies of the field. They don't work. They don't spin. And yet I tell you, Solomon, in all his splendor, was not attired like one of these. And if that is how God clothes the grass, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown on the fire, will he not all the more clothe you? How little faith you have. So don't go around anxiously saying, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? Well, um, what are we to eat? Don't you say that. Don't you say that. Just wanted to know. Set your mind where? God! God's kingdom and his justice and all the rest will come to you as well. So don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has problems of its own. Master, master, blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall have mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you, <coughs> falsely. Did I ever tell you that I used to read feet? Yeah, what? Right. That's just no, right. it's true. Some people read palms or tea leaves. I read feet. Prove it. <clears throat> look, look what this foot says. It says rejoice. No way. Excuse me, let me check this out. <laughs> it says rebuck. No, no, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in the kingdom of my Father. When you feel sad, or under a curse Your life is bad Your prospects are worse Your wife is sighing Crying And your olive tree is dying Temples are graying and teeth are decaying And creditors weighing your purse Your mood and your robe are both a deep blue. You'd bet that Job had nothing on you. Don't forget that when you get to heaven, you'll be blessed. Yes, it's all for the best. Some men are poor than east, more than east, richer than the bees are in honey. Never growing old, never feeling cold, pulling lots of gold from thin air. The best in every town, just shaking down, just to make you mountains of money. They can't take it with them, but what do they care? They get the center of the meat, pushed on the seat, house on the street where it's sunny. Summers of the sea, we're warm and free, all of this and we get the rest. But who is the land for, the sun and the sand for? You guessed, it's all for the best. Thank you. 
See the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye when all the while there's this great plank in your own. I don't know. How can you see a speck of sawdust in your brother's eye when all the while there's a great plank in your own? Or how can you take the speck of sawdust out of your brother's eye when all the while there's this great plank in your own? I don't know. How can you take that speck of sawdust out of your brother's eye when all the while there's this great plank in his own? You hypocrite. <laughs> First, you take the speck of sawdust out of your own eye so you can see clearly to take the plank out of your brother's. Sorry, I just can't see it that way. Why not? Because he has a blank in his eye! <laughs> Judge not, that you yourself shall not be judged. <clears throat> For whatever you deal out to others... Boom! Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Wait, wait, no, 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 Shall be dealt back to you. A sower went to sow some seed. A sower went to sow some seed. And as he sowed, some seed fell him on the footpath. Where it was trampled on. And birds ate it up. Ah! <laughs> All right, shoo, 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 shoo. Some seed fell on rock. Whoa. <laughs> With it from lack of moisture. Water! Some seed fell on weeds. And then they grew up with it. And then choked it. But, that's what? Good seed did fall on good soil. Hey, that's us. Oh, okay. And it yielded a hundredfold! And now, if you have ears to hear, then listen. Listen, for this is what the parable means. Do you know what the seed is? A baby. No. <laughs> the seed is the word of God. And that which fell among the footpath, well, that represents those who hear the word, but then the devil comes and he carries them off, for fear they may believe and be saved. That which fell among the rock, well, they receive the word with great joy when they first hear it, but they have no root. So in times of testing, they desert. That which fell among the weeds, well, they hear the word, but their further growth is impaired by cares and wealth and pleasures of the world. <laughs> They bring nothing to fruit. No, fruit, Renee. And that which fell among the good soil. Sorry. Good, oh, good sorry. soil. They hear the word with good and honest hearts. And through their perseverance, they yield a harvest. But it is 
said to his father, Father, give me my share of the property. <laughs> so he divided his estate between them. A few days later, the younger son took the whole of his share and turned it into cash. And left for a distant country where he squandered it in reckless living. <laughs> he had spent it all when a severe famine fell upon the country. And he began to feel the pinch. Ouch! <laughs> So he decided to attach himself to one of the local landowners. Ew! Who <laughs> <laughs> sent him on the farm to mind the swine? Swine! Swine? Pigs! He would have been glad to have filled his belly with the pods that the pigs were eating. Oink, oink, buster! 
but no one gave him anything. And then he came to his senses. Boy. And he thought to himself, how many of my father's paid servants have more food than they can eat? And here I am starving to death. I shall go to my father and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. And he set out for his father's house. But while he was a long way off, his father saw him and his heart went out to him. The son ran to his father. He threw his arms around him and kissed him, saying, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your paid servants. And the father called to one of his servants. Quick, fetch me my robe, my best one. Put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet and get the fatted calf and kill it. Bang! And we shall have a feast for the day that this son of mine was lost and is found. And the festivities began. Celebrate good times, come on! Now the elder son was out on the farm working. And on his way back, as he approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He called to one of the servants and asked him what it meant. The, the servant said, uh, 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 your nephew, no, 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 your cousin, no, no, your brother, yep, your brother's come back home again, and your father's killed the fatted calf because he hasn't baked safe and sound, yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> but the brother was irritated. Oh, come on! He was pretty damned mad, and he refused to go in the house. The father came out and pleaded with him, but he retorted, and dance. You know I've worked for you all of these years. And I never once disobeyed your orders. And you never gave me so much as a kid for a feast with my friends. But once this son of yours turns up, after running through all of your money with his women, you kill the fatted calf for him. My boy, said the father, you were always with me, and uh, everything I have is yours. Now, how can we help but celebrate this happy day? For your brother here was dead. He's come back to life, metaphorically speaking. He was lost and is found. I don't want to. Please don't make me. Oh, Jesus, you're always there. Now get down. <laughs> One, two, three, four.
done all the vehicles up on stage for a little while. Or go out to the lobby, get some fresh air, use the facilities, buy some merchandise. If you smoke, quit! We'll be back in 15 minutes. And thank you all very much for coming.
this is the beginning. By whose authority are you acting like this? Who gave you this authority? Well, I have a question for you. Answer it, and then I'll tell you by whose authority I act. The baptism of John, was it from God, or was it from man? Well, if we say from God, then he'll say, why did you not believe? But if we say from man, the people <laughs> will be angry. But they took John as a prophet. So you just said we don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Y'all don't know. We should just say we don't know. We don't know. Then neither will I tell you by whose authority I act. But I have a story for you. A man had two sons. So he went to the first and he said, My son, go and work in the vineyard today. I will go. Said the boy, but he never went. Then he went to the second and he said, Now go, my son. Go and work in the vineyard today. I will not go, said the son. But then he changed his mind, and he went. Now, which of these two did as his father wished? The second. The first. Ow, the second. And I tell you, there are tax gatherers and prostitutes entering the kingdom of heaven before you. Because when John came and showed you the right way to live, you did not believe him. But the tax gatherers and the prostitutes did. And even when you saw this, you still did not change your minds and believe him. No. Master, you are an honest man. Give us your ruling on this. Are we or are we not permitted to pay taxes to the Roman emperor? You hypocrite! Show me the money in which the tax is paid. Now, whose head is on this coin? Whose inscription? Caesar's. Then pay Caesar what is due Caesar, but pay God what is due God. Master, what's the greatest commandment of them all? Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. This is the greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All of the law and all that the prophets have written is based on these first two. The doctors of the law and the Pharisees sit in the chair of Moses. Therefore, listen to what they have to say. Pay attention to their words, but do not follow their practices. For they say one thing and they do another. They make up heavy packs, they pile them on men's backs, and they don't raise a finger to lift the load themselves. Everything they do is done for show. Oh, they go around wearing their broad phylacteries, tassels on their robes. They like to have their places of honor at feasts and in the synagogues, and to be greeted respectfully in the streets, and to be called teachers. But you must not be called a teacher. For you have one teacher, and he is the Messiah. And you must call no man on earth father, for you have one father, and you are all brothers. And you must call no man on earth rabbi, for you have one rabbi, and he is in heaven.
getting very late. Vengeance doesn't wait. These snakes and vipers move. You cannot escape me. Devils do. I should be gone with the dice. the prophets and murders the messenger sent to her. How often have I longed to gather up your children as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you would not let me. And so I tell you, you shall never see me again until the time when you say blessing on him who comes in the name of the Lord. But take care that no one misleads you. For many will come claiming my name and saying, I am the Messiah. I am the Messiah. I am the Messiah. I am the Messiah. And many will be misled by them. I am the Messiah. I am the Messiah. Now, who is the trusty servant? Ooh, me! The one charged by his master to take care of the other servants and to pay them at the proper time. Well, I tell you, happy is that servant who is at his job when his master comes, for he will be put in charge of all his master's property. But what of the bad servant who goes around saying, well, the master is a long time coming, and he begins bullying the other servants, and eating and drinking with his drunken friends. I tell you, the master will come on a day he does not know, at a time he least expects, and he will tear him to pieces. Hiya! 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 And then he'll take his place amongst the hypocrites, where there is wailing. of teeth. Nash, 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 nash. So stay awake then, for you do not know on what day your Lord is to come. Remember, if the house owner had known what time the burglar was coming, he would have stayed awake all night. Master, this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. And by the law that Moses has laid down, such women are to be stoned. Yeah, what about it, mister? The one of you who is faultless shall throw the first stone. Yeah. now? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir. Nor do I condemn you. You may go. Do not sin again.
Then the man they called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me to betray him to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, he began to look out for an opportunity to betray him. By my Son of Man comes in all his glory, with all the nations gathered before him, he will separate the men into two groups as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. The sheep from the goats. Oh. 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 With the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Sheep on his right. Oh, that right. <clears throat> and then he will say to those on his right, Ba, 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 ba. Ba. <laughs> you have my father's blessing. Come and enter the kingdom that has been ready since the world was made. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked and without a home, you came to my aid, and when I was ill and in prison, you came to my aid. Hey, 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 get back there. And then they will say to him, Master, when was it we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you drink? Yeah, or in prison and helped you. And then he will say to them, anything you did for one of your brothers here, however humble, you did for me. Oh, I get it. And then <laughs> he will say to those on his left, Yeah? A curse is upon you. <laughs> <laughs> you go from my sight never to be seen in my presence again. For when I was hungry, bzz, you did not give me anything to eat. When I was thirsty, bzz, you did not give me anything to drink. When I was naked and without a home, bzz, you did not take me to your house. And when I was ill and in prison, bzz, you did not come to my aid. And then they will say to him, Oh, master, if we'd have known it was you, we would have taken you out for a couple of lamb chops. <laughs> and then he will say to them, Anything you did not do for one of your brothers here, however humble, you did not do for me. Go take your place in eternal punishment, ah. but the righteous shall have everlasting life. Ah. Father, hear thy children's call. Back home is first to be, come sing about love. That 
out of the smoke out of a night of struggle can we see a ray of hope one pale thin ray reaching for the dead beautiful city yes we can yes we can we can build a beautiful city not a city of angels but we can build a city of men we the ending but we can start slowly but truly mending brick by brick heart by heart now maybe now we start learning how we can build a beautiful city yes we can yes we can <coughs> we can build a beautiful city not a city of angels but we can build a city of men When your trust is all but shattered When your faith is all but killed You can give up <coughs> bitter and battered Or you can slowly start to beautiful city yes we can yes we can we can build a beautiful city not a city of angels but finally a city of men I tell you this, one of you among us will betray me. Be me, Lord? Can it 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 be me, Lord? Rabbi, can you mean me? The words are yours. Do quickly what you have to do. Rok ata Adonai Elohenu melech holom amotzi lechem minarets. Take this and eat. Eat.
eat, for this is my body. Barokata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olom, Ure Pri Agafen. Take this and drink. Drink, for this is my blood, the blood of the covenant shed for the forgiveness of sins. And I tell you, I shall never again drink from the fruit of the vine until I drink it with you in the kingdom of my Father. Stay awake with me. Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass me by. Yet not as I will, but as thou will. What? Could none of you stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and be spared the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I tell you, tonight before the cock crows, you will all betray me three times. Father, if it not be possible to let this cup pass me by without my drinking from it, thy will be done. If you are the Son of God, turn these stones into bread. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that God utters. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for Scripture says, He will send His angels to support you, and they will hold you in their arms. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. All these things I will give you if you do me homage. Be gone, Satan! 
You shall do homage to the Lord your God and worship him alone. Do quickly what you have to do. What are you talking about? Jesus, let's go. Jesus, let's go. Wait, 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 and he would send 12 legions of angels to come to my aid. Do you take me for a bandit that you come after me with swords and cudgels? Day after day, I sat teaching in the synagogues. And you did not come after me then. But all this has happened to fulfill what the prophets have written.
Thank you.